Hello my soccer universe, I usually don't do an unpacking uh, in memoriam of a legendary player. I think there was only one video where Jeff Gordon Banks had just passed away and I showed you an England away jersey which I found fitting at the time. However, uh, due to my scheduling, it actually works out quite well. We're talking of course about Just Fontaine who passed away on 1st of March this year at the age of 89. And if you have never heard about Just Fontaine, A. Why? And B, he is the guy who scored the most goals in a single World Cup with 13. A record that I, unless they extend the tournament to um, 10 games per team, I think will never be broken. Uh, it's an amazing feat. And yes, he, in my analysis of goal scorers, he maybe is not all that high up. But just a pure fact, 13 goals. In six games from 18 shots that's a pretty amazing thing and of course that's why I'm wearing the French shirt um, but coincidentally I also have a package from the club that he's most associated with Stade de Reims and that is a whole different story and it will be fortunately or it seems like uh, resolved rather soon it was in January when I had ordered a few packages and then the whole uh, international mailing system in Great Britain broke down and everything seemed stuck and I was getting a little bit uh, depressed and you know uh, everything that I ordered was kind of stuck and didn't arrive and then I was actually looking for my gold collection goals this season and I think I mentioned them that I want to have uh, you know, expand my French collection, then um, also maybe go a little bit uh, in the Dutch and the Portuguese side. And so I was, you're always checking uh, things. And um, Start de Reims, the team that Just Fontaine is most uh, associated with, where he actually teamed up with Remo Copa, uh, had, was always on the list, namely because uh, it is a traditional team that I'm so happy is back in Ligue 1, where I really think they belong because they're such a historic club, you know, ha having played in the first European Cup final, what, what, what is now the Champions League, and they're reaching another one. That one, Just Fontaine, was playing. I'm going. I'm getting back to the player over and over, over, over again. Uh, and, you know, that alone makes it for me a traditional team that has to be just up there but uh what even more is i have of course been to the city of reims uh with the, with the beautiful uh cathedral of course there's champagne bottles all around because it's the center of the champagne so from multiple um sources it was clear to me that sooner or later i need to get a jersey from that club and so i went to, 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 to the club shop and surprisingly not only were the current uh jerseys quite reasonably priced but they had a sale on some old jerseys and for an even more reasonable price and yes there was uh, quite some shipping the shipping charge was just below 20 euros but I said well um, actually for that jersey it's worth it and since everything is stuck at the moment I just gotta unstuck it now the funny thing is, this one arrived early February, and now we are March, so this parcel has been hanging hang around. Yes, I have been getting some shirts in between, because uh, not only did it get unstuck, but I've got stuff even quicker. And then I was always waiting around a little bit, and yeah, I said, now is the time to open it. And even though I have two other jerseys that I, um, or two other unpacking videos that I have planned, Let's do this one because this is actually the parcel that arrived first. So, a really long story. It is from the official store from Start de Reims. Let's see what I got. Let's start first. I actually got two jerseys. Let's start, start first with the cheaper one, which is actually a player issue. Umbro shirt. This is the away jersey from two seasons ago, which honestly I really liked a whole lot um, namely because of the very interesting pattern on the shoulders although I'm not sure I, I'm not so sold on how the pa uh, this pattern is applied I think it should extend a little bit further further down but um, 
I really like like, like one. and can I say I know maybe the traditionalists might remember different crests for starters I find this a very very clever modern crest I absolutely love it I mean the crown for the city where the kings were crowned then the shield is kind of an upside down gothic arch and then the S and R interlocking it's really really a smart crest it's one of my favorite modern crests and this jersey I really really liked and it even says here 1931 to 2021 so it's from the 2021 season the away jersey uh, and I'm very very pleased to have that this one cost all of I think it was um, 18 or 19 euros and then I said okay these are not Stadteras colors we gotta get a home jersey too unfortunately they were selling one <laughs> and uh, it was only for 10 bucks more as far as I remember uh, this one is of course um, is, it, it, it is a replica jersey the other one was the authentic player version and this one cost as I said only a little bit more and then here you have it this is from the previous season very nicely I know I didn't rate it as highly because I found the color a little bit weird but honestly I mean it's classic Arsenal style but I think it's a really nice jersey uh, this one is um, kind of uh, how, how can I say it? this is a plastic transfer on so I find this in interesting I also like the shadow striping in there I would say we'll hang up both of these jerseys and have a look at them okay there you go actually uh well i find the color on the home jersey weird and this is now of course the 21 22 season um i saw some old pictures where they had a very similar color so i really like the nod to uh the past uh looks as i said i really like this traditional arsenal look this is actually i mean my arsenal jersey does not have <laughs> the one home jersey have the, does not have such a traditional look which i find rather funny but it's really nice of course both are full with sponsors here on top as is typically for uh many league smaller league uh, teams i also realize now that while i would have liked that the pattern on the away jersey would go on the sleeves that having the sleeves white matches actually quite up nicely with the home jersey you also get kind of the white sleeve look so there's maybe something that goes better now um if you were to ask me i actually like the away jersey a teeny bit better uh, especially since the sponsor is a little bit nicer um, frankly but uh, the classic Stadterans look is also really really cool to have and uh, to top it off Stadterans are doing really well this season probably not qualifying for Europe but uh, having done uh, quite have, have having had a quite an impressive streak even giving PSG uh, in Paris quite the trouble so yeah more another French team added and again rest in peace Just Fontaine a true World Cup legend let me know what you think about these two jerseys um, also let me know if you have any Stadterans um, jerseys in there and if you have any other recollection of Just Fontaine would also be interesting in any case thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll surely will talk to you soon bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!